Right. Uh, this is the uh, last Troiki type uh, type four quant qualitative and quantitative translation. Okay, so it is based on rotation. So it says that a hollow sphere of uniform, um, a hollow sphere, and a uniform solid sphere in a hoop are placed at the top of the length of the uh, of length L. This is theta. They have the same radius r, and they are released at the same time with an initial velocity zero. So we have to rank that according to the time it takes to reach the bottom. So uh, whichever reaches fastest or first, that should be ranked one and accordingly. And by the way, this is a, uh, we have to justify without directly using or manipulating, uh, uh, you know, equations. So we are going to say that since the mechanical energy is conserved, since the mechanical energy is conserved, because remember, even though there is no slipping, even though friction is acting, but the friction will not do any work because there is no slipping, which means that initial energy, which is only gravity, which is only mgh, so PE initial should be converted into KE final, right? Okay. Now initial potential energy is same for all of them. So final kinetic energy should also be same. Okay. By the way, what are the moment of inertia of these? So for a hollow sphere, it is two third MR square. For solid sphere, it is two fifth MR square. And for a hoop, it is just MR square. So this is 0 0.67 around, and this is 0 0.4, and this is just one as the coefficient. Okay, so this is the comparison of their moment of inertia. Now we know that kinetic energy final uh, is rotational and translational both. But obviously it makes sense that the one that has higher moment of inertia, which is this one, will obviously have less omega or less velocity, right? Because they have to um, nullify each other. Left side, left side is same. Kinetic energy is dependent on two things, as we know, moment of inertia and velocity or omega. So obviously higher, higher moment of inertia, which mean, means that uh, less omega. So disc, sorry, hoop will have least velocity at the bottom followed by, uh, followed by, hollow sphere followed by solid sphere. So least velocity means it is traveling the slowest, right? So slowest means it will take the most time. So hoop is going to take the most time. So we are mark it as three. Then for solid sphere, the hollow sphere and then solid sphere. So first we are going to say that the mechanical energy is conserved. Then we are going to explain in the same fashion that initial potential energy is same, kinetic energy means, and we are going to also write the moment of inertia of all this. And just like, you know, comparing I and omega, we are going to justify that. Okay, this is more about qualitative. All right, now the time for one of the shapes to roll without slipping to the bottom of the ramp is T and the rotational inertia is I. So just uh, justify the uh, relationship between T and I with this, and we have to derive using the fundamental physics principle or, all right. So it is something like this, this is the shape and this is l and this is theta and this is a uh, this is an object it has a moment of inertia i um, we know that since it rolls down it will have a rotational tendency like this so obviously friction is the only one that is you know rotating it uh, that, is, that is that is the only one that can provide the torque so it will have uh, i'm trying to draw fbd here this is the force of friction this will be mg sine theta this will be mg cos theta, although I'm not really interested in that. And this will be the normal reaction. So the first physics principle is uh, the total force is equal to ma. The total force is mg sine theta minus f, f is equal to ma. That's equation number one. And the next equation will be the torque equation that total torque is I alpha. Total torque is only because of the friction. So F, F times R is equal to I alpha. And the third equation is alpha is equal to A over R. That's the third. Do they use small r? Oh my God, they're using capital R. So I need to change this to, okay, it's good that there's only one point there I have to change. Right, and it's all about manipulating these equations now. So first I'm gonna put alpha over here so that um, you know, everything comes in terms of this. So alpha is equal to 
um, so the second equation will become FFR is equal to I times A over R dividing both sides with R FF is equal to I A over R square that's the first equation and this is the next equation I'm going to substitute this FF over here so this is going to look like mg sine theta mg sine theta minus i a over r square is equal to ma uh, uh, let's isolate for a so multiplying r square both the sides so mg r square sine theta minus i a is equal to m r square a so this will be mg r square sine theta and adding i a both the sides it will be m r square a plus i a taking a as a common factor it will be m r square plus i is equal to m g r square sine theta so a will be equal to m g r square sine theta over i plus m r square okay but that's not what they want they need the time but that's fine we can use equations of motion now so i'm going to say that since this length is l i can say that the second equation of motion is displacement s is equal to v initial times t plus half a t square so s is l v initial is zero acceleration is something that we just found so multiplying two both the sides and dividing a both the sides this is what we have as the t square so t square will be equal to 2l over a and a is this entire thing so let's sub that in m g r square sine theta and then over i plus m r square will jump on the top so i plus m r square and if we take square root then we finally have 2l i plus m r square over m g r square sine theta so this is actually our final answer that's what we wanted to prove okay now the next is uh, if the new sphere is constructed using thin spherical shell of radius r, the shell is completely filled with liquid and the mass of the shell is much less than that of the liquid and the total mass of the liquid filled sphere is m. Now the liquid filled sphere is placed at the top of the ramp, uh, released from rest and rolls without slipping to the bottom. As the sphere rolls, the liquid does not rotate with the shell, all right. So that's the liquid filled sphere reaches at the same less time same time or more time okay so this is uh, we are going to take our um, equation that we derived which is right here as a reference and we are going to conclude from this so as per this we can see that the length of the track is not changing the total mass is not changing r is not changing gravity is not changing theta is not changing so the only thing that changes is i now Remember that I is only the mass, I mean, is only dependent on the mass that rotates after all. And they are clearly saying that the if the total mass is m, and there, remember, there is some water inside this sphere, and the total mass m is, has been shared, of course. So let's say this mass is m1, and this mass is m2, which is rotating, and the total mass is m. Now, I very well know that the water is not rotating. So, its moment of inertia will not be taken into account. Only this moment of inertia, moment of inertia of the shell will be taken into account. And obviously, this has a, this has less mass, right? Compared to M, this is now less mass. So, this moment of inertia will, all, will obviously be less than what it would have been had there was no water because now the mass has been shared so since i is less since i is less uh, because i is only of the uh, hollow sphere the time is also less so it will take less time because time is proportional to not proportional but time is you know dependent on moment of inertia less moment of inertia means less time